Hi, Panda here, and welcome to our Riders Republic Beta First Impressions. So we've got a few days of trying out the Riders Republic Beta on the Xbox One. So the basic setup is Riders Republic is a multiplayer racing extreme sports tricks game. It includes bicycles, snowboards, skiing, rocket packs, wingsuits, and more. It has a large open world and even gets snowmobile to help you navigate at speed around the environment. Gameplay. There are both solo racing 12 player multiplayer racing to huge mass races with 32 players on the Xbox One. There's different levels of difficulty and assist from having landing done automatically if you want to or just to focus on racing, to having manual landing to land accurate tricks to get an extra score boost. There's fast paced and diverse with a range of equipment and events from racing stunts to tricks. Across the map are fast travel points that can be unlocked to quickly navigate the map and the multiplayer modes can easily be accessible from the main camp. When not in a race, you can see other players exploring the world like you would in an MMO. Races have checkpoints and if you miss one, there is a rewind feature. The main issue is that sometimes the checkpoints are too picky and if the bike only clips it, it might not count, leading to what I feel like was unnecessary rewinds to get through the checkpoints. The other issue breaking the flow of races is that sometimes some tracks are too cluttered with too many items like trees and barriers. Some is fine, but some of the tracks are overflowing with, which causes you not to be able to see where you're going. There is a first person and third person mode, but you need a strong stomach for the first person mode. There's a loot system of unlocking new gear and outfits with a score gear rating, so you can keep unlocking higher gear and applying that to get faster speeds. Visuals. There are realistic looking environments and lots of colourful outfits and signs. The environments vary from snowy mountains to desert canyons. Overall the frame rate holds up really well except for in some cutscenes where you'll see some more screen chair and chugging. Um, the graphics seem to be quite impressive for a late game in the original Xbox One life. Clearly the Xbox Series X and S would look a lot better but I was pleasantly surprised how well it still looked on an Xbox One. And if you only have an Xbox One and not a Series X and S, it's still worth getting. The visuals won't let you down. And these diverse environments also help with giving it some variation. And it's fun to explore to see what you can find. Audio. The soundtrack seemed pretty standard affair and didn't really jump out at me. And the rest of the sound seemed to suit what was going on on the screen. I like how some of the emote sounds change depending on your outfit, so like the dinosaur outfit did like a roar when you're doing like the wave emote. Um, the voice acting is the usual over the top extreme sports voices that I found myself just wanting to skip cutscenes. Overall there's nothing particularly offensive here, just some of the dialogue and that is not really worth hanging around for, but when it comes to actual racing and the music, it seems to suit the atmosphere. So. I've got no issues there. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised by the beta, especially after being slightly disappointed by Steep. My issues with awkward controls of Steep have been resolved for the most part here, although the controls for the tricks isn't the clearest and does take a little while to get hang of to do the exact tricks you want to pull off. Pulling random tricks off is fine, and there's a few different control options including Steep controls. The mixed mass races were a highlight and its colourful and silliness was good and makes a change from the overflow of games that take themselves too seriously. This definitely had a feel of a fun game that you could both play seriously or just play for laughs. I'm looking forward to seeing how the full game is like later this year. Thanks for watching, thank you to our patrons and remember to like and subscribe and bye for now. Second half!